Hi guys, this is review of Microsoft Surface Dock. Uh, it's newer generation, uh, kind of brick version of, and you have one single connector here. Uh, what do we have uh, uh, more from here? We have uh, USB. Um, uh, some of them are 2.0 and and uh, also 3 3.0. Uh, we have. Uh, you can lock the station just make sure and also we have a power a power adapter will have kind of similar size brick so make sure that you have extra area to high or put this uh, power brick uh, underneath uh, we have uh, ethernet for non-virus connection we have uh, a micro uh, a microphone and audio one jack 3.5 two mini display port uh, and once again two usb and uh, the connector itself uh, here's the demo it works with uh, previous generation surface uh, pro 3 and 4 and uh, and also surface uh, surface uh, book so you have options having one dock station and in this case we see Pro 3, a Surface 3, a Pro 3 and work with newer generation just fine. Uh, what's the beauty uh, compared to let's say older generation? Just a quick reminder uh, uh, from this one. It's way too big, looks fancy but less functional and you need every time slide and snap it which is kind of too much. So uh, we okay with this and they even uh, propose it's like Microsoft, they also new, which is uh, cool. So security lock, power, Ethernet, uh, audio, mini display port, uh, uh, USB 3.0. If you can uh, scroll down uh, and we have all four ports, uh, USB uh, point, uh, 3.0, which is cool. So. Uh, you give you uh, everything you need. So how it works? So uh, you have your magnet connector here, uh, uh, and you just take it out. As you can see, uh, uh, the Windows React only just right now one monitor, and what we are doing here connect easily and magically one two three. Uh, it, it will recognize, you can see the sound, recognize all, in this case, three independent monitors. Just to confirm that it's kind of super real, uh, let's do display settings here and let's do one magic click. Oops, Let's let me do it again. Identify oh, what's happening. Yeah, we have one, two, three, so let's do it again. We have one here, three and two. Uh, so you can definitely move them around. So at and uh, dock station support, uh, in my case, it's uh, f uh, full HD monitors. Uh, so, uh, and you can connect, at least in my setup, what I try to do, up to three independent monitors. So you can do, uh, you can do uh, uh, one, two in uh, uh, here, and it goes all the way here. And also, if you let's say I personally don't prefer to use this. Usually in my setup, it's turned it off, so I have only two monitors to concentrate and work with. Um, so um, uh, back to the uh, dock station uh, because you have only two uh, desktop, uh, only two uh, 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 two slots. You, you seems to be don't have a lot of options. Uh, uh, seems to be only two monitors. But luckily, when you use your dock station and dock station once again for everything for your audio, USB data management and video signal. So uh, uh, we still have uh, this additional uh, uh, additional uh, mini display port available, which is great. And once again, using any mini USB in this case, for example, I tried before uh, a mini display port to USB hook up another monitor and it's working just fine. So, uh, but you wouldn't have 
four monitors you will have up to three monitors so in this case one two three or you can have let's say three uh, external monitors uh, uh, but you wouldn't have your laptop so keep this in mind uh, if you kind of build your setup i guess it's not limitation of dock, dock station almost probably even uh, the uh, uh, surface pro 3 i'm pretty sure it's back to intel integrated uh, video card but once again three without any USB uh, adapters you're good to go uh, as far as uh, I know uh, uh, they required the only um, the only thing that you might uh, make sure that you consider you should have one active uh, one active uh, display uh, display port in this case in this setup we have monitors they uh, support display port so basically from mini display port to full display port if not most probably you need to kind of think about and double check that you have any active uh, display port means it will cost you more and require additional power it's probably so uh, do your uh, investigation make sure that you do it right so yeah so it's about dock station so in this case which is cool if you let's say operate let's say at work in office and at home with the same device usually uh, what in my case i'm doing you can see this toggle you can see mouse and keyboard stay here uh, and and nothing uh, nothing uh, attached to uh, to uh, laptop itself so i uh, take it out after that i just close it and go let's say to meeting room when i need it or have or just uh, put it in my backpack and let's say go back home or another kind of office if uh, if i need to so and uh, you can replicate the same setup it's not cheap uh, nowadays you saw it's like 200 i guess it's kind of overpriced for almost kind of brainless device but still it's like good and needy uh, stuff and also additional tweak uh, that you can have not super long uh, cable so most probably you wouldn't be able to kind of hide it or move it somewhere uh, uh, really uh, far away from your desk uh, laptop uh, but at least good things that you can do up and down position in any position it will work so it's up to you it light up and will indicate it's that it works so yeah so it was a review of uh, um, microsoft uh, survey uh, uh, doc uh, and yeah and set up with three uh, monitors so uh, let me know if you have any questions and yeah and thank you for watching guys see you next time bye